Hi, I'm, I'm Ridula. I'm the co-founder of Credo Early Childhood Solutions. We are an early education company that's here to democratize quality early education. Uh, we've been in this early education space for about 20 years now and uh, we have learned a lot of lessons along the way of course uh, in terms of both working with schools and how to transform learning better. Uh, we currently are partnered with more than 1200 schools and uh, this year we are impacting over a lack of children. Um, our mission 2025 is to ensure that uh, every child in India gets quality early education and we're aiming to impact at least a million children by 2025. Credo has always been extremely focused on early uh, play-based learning. Uh, we've been suppliers of Montessori materials for many years and we've seen the wonderful impact that it has on children. And uh, it was always in our mind that if only we can take this to the masses, this is one of the most beautiful forms of education. Uh, Montessori has been a little um, exclusive in its approach and uh, we found that uh, majority of the masses were not getting access to this kind of education and it was our strong belief that that would change the way education is delivered in this country. Uh, and hence we launched Credo in 2012 with the aim of uh, sort of taking an adapted Montessori to the masses. Uh, our first venture with Credo was to help women entrepreneurs set up their own schools. So we were staunch believers of the fact that education is not a commodity, it's not something we wanted to franchise. Uh, we have a lot of, lot of passionate entrepreneurs who want to be edupreneurs in this country and our thought was to empower them. In order to transform education, we realized that it's not going to be a, a singular effort, it has to be a joint effort from across various sections and far, a lot of entrepreneurs have to sort of join along the way. And that really motivated us to start Credo, saying there are a lot of people ready, ready to make that change. So why not partner with them rather than going single hand all the way to make that change. And hence began our journey with Credo in 2012. We launched it as an experiment. Uh, it was uh, uh, an area new to us. We had just been supplying materials to schools till then. But we had seen the power of play-based learning. And when we first launched, we started with about 30 to 40 preschool partners in our first year. And by the second year, we had we were averaging a run rate of 250 plus preschools a year. That's the number that we set up. And mostly, of course, largely run by women entrepreneurs. So it was extremely fulfilling to see that people could set up their own ventures with the help of Credo. It's a dream that they had to set up a preschool in their own little town or their area and be a, be a brand by themselves. So Credo follows that model where they build their brand. In fact, we help them build their brand and we are their back-end academic partners. So this exciting idea that we can make change happen along with a lot of other entrepreneurs is really what motivated us to start Credo. A lot of parents, a large part of society, even schools are uh, extremely focused on children's high school outcomes uh, starting let's say class 6 and above that's when people get serious that oh my child has to learn and that's when they realize there's a lot of learning gap and start sending children to tuitions or doing what they can to help their child. Uh, unfortunately, most of the problems that occur at the 8, 12 and above, uh, the foundation for those problems lies in the early years. So it is a gap that's quite massive. Uh, people used to at one point 10 years back take early education extremely lightly saying it's okay if the child goes to school below the age of six, it's fine. Otherwise, they'll get by. Anyway, there's not much learning that's happening was the generic thought process. It still is, but uh, today I think there's a lot more change. Post-COVID, the shift is a lot more stronger. Um, and also with the government policies being uh, sort of more focused on early education, I think a lot more people are giving it the importance that it deserves. And that's the gap that Credo has been trying to fill for years, saying all you need to do is get quality early education in for your child to have a strong foundation in life. And it's not really class 5 that you need to correct, it's when the child is 5 years old that you need to set the foundation straight. And that's really the gap we're trying to address. So, so far Credo has had a wonderful journey. We've um, partnered with multiple women entrepreneurs across 300 odd cities. Uh, we've been making this change since 2012. What has been really fulfilling is to see the amount of enthusiasm that a credo kind of methodology has uh, given to these entrepreneurs. Play-based learning is something that's very, very simple, yet is perceived as very complex. Uh, it's not something that uh, people just plug and play. Uh, people think play-based learning is just about 
allowing children to play and everything will happen on its own in fact it's a little more than that structured play based learning is what really we talk about where play is directed by the teacher which means the teachers need to be trained on this journey of allowing children to learn through play and children learn very naturally and very beautifully through play so i think one of the things that credo has really achieved over the years is to help people institutionalize play based learning in the school so today in every credo school you will find that the centerpiece is the lab period or what we call the credo activity time uh, and that becomes the centerpiece of the school so to bring this transformational shift in terms of thinking about education that play is not a supplement and the main learning happens through books in fact it's the reverse play is the main learning and the books are just supplementing the play based learning i think that's been the biggest achievement for credo to date that a lot more people now see how it can be done we've created a process where uh, people can adopt credo very easily and understand how play based learning can become the centerpiece of the school and uh, training enormous number of teachers in terms of uh, doing this uh, that's been a great journey yes we've had resistance along the way yes there have been a many many cases where people have been used to a certain way of working and hence find it difficult to transform uh, but once they see the outcomes and once they see children learning with this i think that convinces teachers and owners more than anything else and credo has helped bring out a lot of these stories we showcase the learning that the child has has had with a play based learning methodology and um, the belief sort of stems from there so i think that's really been one of our greatest successes so far so credo was launched in 2012 To date we have partnered with 2000 plus preschools we've helped set up 2000 plus preschools across 300 cities in India um some of them have uh, sort of succumbed during the pandemic they're not all of them are still existing but every year we partner with at least 300 new women entrepreneurs to help set up uh, different preschools in different parts of India we have schools in Arunachal Pradesh we have a school in Badrinath uh, we have a school in Barmer so all parts of the country we have covered On the affordable private school space we are currently working in four zones we are working in Pune Hyderabad Bangalore and Kolhapur um this year we have cumulatively across both the APS and our preschool business lines we partnered with 1200 schools this year uh, and this year we are impacting close to a lakh of children uh, over the years we have impacted more than 10 lakh children very easily uh, it's it's a cumulative process where children keep coming into credo schools and um, yeah they learning more uh, and of course in terms of teacher training we must have trained at least a minimum of 10 to 15000 teachers to date and um, that that's an ongoing process that continues uh, which is both training owners as well as teachers on implementing play based learning Yes so the, uh, there are plenty of barriers uh, for existing schools especially uh, they used to working in a certain way for many years it could be a rote based approach uh, nowadays there are a lot of schools that have a tech based approach uh, but the one thing that every uh, at least school owner definitely realizes is that that's not sufficient to transform learning they see that there's a gap but they didn't know how to fill that gap so they were using digital technology or better books to try and make learning better Uh, so when credo comes into a aps school actually the easiest transformation has been with the owner because they're so sold and so aligned with our thought process of saying yeah this is the right way to change learning and it's the most simplistic way that we've hardly had any barriers at least on the budget private school front with the teachers there are a few more barriers because it's it's they are the ones who have to ultimately implement it so it's a little more challenging for them to sort of accept change and move along with it but i would say we found about 85% of the teachers extremely amenable to change so teachers want to do better it's not that they don't want to and if somebody shows them a way they they sort of excited about doing that really well and this is not like a very complex solution it's something that they do with their fingers this you know it's something that they can do easily they enjoy that process of interacting with children and the minute the children learn more teachers are super happy saying okay i had to do less to learn more is something that every teacher really wants to do yes there are sometimes resistances in terms of the teachers uh, finding it difficult to change we do have to do some amount of change management programs what has really helped us to have the parents on our side 
so in every school that we partner we do a lot of parent awareness programs of saying why should your child learn this way uh, why is play based learning necessary for your child to become a thinker and parents are completely sold they didn't know before this they knew that somewhere play is helpful it was just like you know you eat um, palak and it's good for health somewhere everybody knows it but how do you wrap the palak into a sandwich or a roti and give it to them in the right way to eat i think that's what we've done i don't think anybody in this world will say no play based learning is not good everybody loves it but making it happen is a different game altogether i think that's really been our sauce um so approaches to learning can be of different ways uh, rote is one of the approaches and when credo approaches this problem of learning we look at it in into in three categories the first being skill building the second being social learning to a large extent or learning socially i want to say social learning but learning from each other with children learning from each other and the third still being rote learning there's some amount of rote learning that still needs to happen in a school based curriculum so credo sort of ties these things together but the percentages change we don't i mean in most cases rote learning could take a larger percentage but in credo play based learning is about 60% plus the peer learning works to about 20% and rote learning to 20% which makes rote learning a very small component in the entire thing how does play based learning stand out uh, in a school that i mean as compared to a tech based solution or a book based solution both of those focus on the third element which is content so there's skill building there's social learning and there's content or knowledge transfer so knowledge transfer can be done via books it can be done via television sets it can be done via smart boards where you're showing something and expecting the child to absorb that content so it could be showing a multiplication game on the television or and you're expecting the child to sort of learn so we don't treat digital technology and rote very differently we look at both of them as content transfer uh, one is a little more strenuous which is rote digital is a little easier and nicer so while you still need that piece both of them are just knowledge transfer routes play based learning is the only way you can build skills So if you want to build multiplication as a skill you need to give the child a multiplication game it's as simple as that no amount of content can build a skill they can give them the knowledge of multiplication of saying two ones are two and that can be transferred but the child would not have understood multiplication as a skill unless the child has something in their hands to play with um and i think most parents and teachers have begun to recognize this at saying why should i do so much knowledge transfer if the same thing can be built via a skill and that's where credo stands out from most other players in the market in terms of our focus is a little more on skill building and while rote and other means also supplement the learning we also have a lot of emphasis in terms of peer learning uh so it's not when you put children together in a group it's not only about learning to share or learning to speak with each other and communication of course that's going to happen and of course social learning is a very very important component of the whole thing but what is even more interesting is when you put children together in a group in a school children learn math better so if math has to be taught it can at home and with the same toy it would not be as effective as it is in the school because here there's a whole group of children and we use peer learning extensively to our advantage to say now learning can go up by 10% simply because 10 children are doing it together in a group in school uh, which you can't replicate in the house so credo's blended learning approach has skill building has peer learning as well as knowledge transfer content transfer sort of bundled and integrated into the solution um so as as uh, we discussed earlier credo is an extremely affordable solution it, it's the it's the market segment that excites us the most is to work with affordable private schools for two reasons one of course the entrepreneurs are very aligned with the mission of wanting to make change happen but two this is also the biggest segment in our country that needs change so 70% of urban population uh, sends their children to uh, affordable private schools uh now again very interestingly play based learning is one of the cheapest way of getting uh, education to be transformed you have a lab it's set up one time all you need to do is keep training teachers on how to allow children to play with these materials 
it, it's not like a you know a television set where you need electricity or you need internet or you need a whole lot of things it's one of the easiest ways to actually make learning change happen and we found hence that despite having a very low cost solution uh, providers like us can actually be profitable as well because it's it's something that works in the favor of cost to have play based learning as the centerpiece and not have you know expensive things which uh, which will increase the cost for the school so we found that also uh, play based learning the other huge advantage is it doesn't burden the teacher so it's not like the credo comes into a solution into a school and then we say so you have to hire two more teachers in order to get this done it's not teacher heavy it's not teacher dependent because play based learning is led by the child so in fact we say even with the ratio sometimes schools have ratios of 1 is to 40 in a classroom which is which is quite a bit on the higher side yet they can make play based learning happen because even if the teacher is busy every child has a material some learning is happening and there's no time loss so both in terms of time effectiveness as well as cost effectiveness i think play based learning has no substitute um, and no better and cheaper and more effective way of making learning transformation happen yeah so uh, we we are a women heavy organization ourselves uh, very proud to say that I, more than 50% of our uh, of people working at credo are women not just in credo we have a manufacturing unit of our own that's what we started as our dna is in manufacturing more than 50% of the people working in our factory are women uh, this is an industry that has lent itself very beautifully to the empowerment of women uh we make toys and wooden materials in our factory so a lot of the final finishing the quality inspection a lot of the packing a lot of it is predominantly done by women they really good at their work and um, they of course are extremely motivated to build their careers and we're very very uh, proud to say this this uh, organization was founded by a woman my mother and she's literally nurtured 100 150 plus women who are working with her in the factory even to date she still manages the entire manufacturing piece on her own and that's our, that was our first uh, you know sort of impact on women that we uh, very that is very closely associated with us uh, in our office of course it's a large pool of academic people again um, a lot more women and girls come into this role than uh, you know more of the male gender do because again in terms of teaching or empowering schools or doing training a uh, women really love this job and they do it beautifully patiently with attention to detail so we've created a really large um, pool of very very smart and empowered women who come from various cities in india small and big and uh, that's continuing to grow so it's really really enriching to see that um on the client front since 2012 we've as i said we've helped set up more than 2000 schools 90% of them are run by women entrepreneurs who come with a dream to do their own thing um they want to set up a school and but not just any school they want want it to be the best they they have a vision for what they want to set up and it's been supremely fulfilling to see that credo can be a part of so many dreams um and there are so many women who are now independent running their own enterprises and running it beautifully in terms of school management in terms of curriculum management uh, it's transformed the way they think as well i think that's something that we we always feel very excited to see to see this journey transforming the mindset of so many women so there are women who come into the space who have never worked before there are women who come into the space who been teachers at schools and now have become wonderful entrepreneurs there are so many women who have been working in the corporate side or maybe as lawyers as bankers and um, they want to do something on their own they want to build an institution and they come to us and we empower them so we've seen a whole range and variety of careers from which women have come or building their careers for the first time so that's a huge piece that has been working very well for us since 2012 on the school front of course i would say 99.999% of our teachers are women so we work with thousands of them every year uh and what is really nice to see is till the time credo comes in of course they're doing their job and a lot of teachers are very motivated and and try all kinds of things they're very very creative individuals who can who try and see what best can i do given the circumstances uh in the affordable private schools uh, women teachers come from 
not impoverished necessarily but not from very luxury backgrounds in most cases they work hard at home they work hard at school and uh, we we really feel very very gratified to see that we can sort of share the burden a little bit in the school and give them a way to become a better teacher so that's something a lot of them come back and tell us that i feel more empowered and i feel i'm a better teacher and they start thinking of teaching as a career not just a vocation or something that they're doing now because they now see a path forward and um, our thought is to create those paths for teachers to become better teachers it's something that we're very consciously doing building these this teacher community uh, empowering and skilling them more at not just i'm just a teacher it's not i'm just a teacher i'm a teacher and there's so much you can do as a teacher is, is what we'd like to show them and while we're not there yet i think we're slowly getting there now So I think any any effect that needs to make large scale transformation needs a starting point. So you need to see ten women who are getting successful either as teachers as entrepreneurs, for their neighbors, their families to believe that it's possible. Uh, we are seeing a lot of these women entrepreneurs, the teachers, uh, their families, sort of recognizing the fact that okay, not everybody does, but a large percentage of them do. recognize the fact that some of they never imagined that some of these people would have careers and that it's possible and they actually having a good career is something that is the neighbors notice society notices uh, people then hence sort of start changing their views a little bit uh, we've seen women at our factory their their whole neighborhoods have changed saying oh these women are going in the morning in the bus to the factory going at 9:30 and coming at 5 coming back at 5:30 in the evening uh is something that they would not have imagined and we have had a lot more because a bunch of 30 women went we have about 100 more coming in soon enough uh so whichever industry it is in i think you need a starting point for the ripple effect to happen anywhere uh starting small and it does go outward uh what is also very exciting is that we we hope that the children who are learning with credo uh they see all of these teachers who are empowering them and they believe that women can have careers they can be good teachers so we're hoping over a period of time that this effect sort of gets larger and wider um it it takes a lot of joint effort to do that it's it's not easy to do it alone but definitely we're seeing a lot of repercussions of even one person from the neighborhood starts working or starts a school five more start believing that it is possible and want to try their hand at something sort of that yeah um so while we're focusing on a very specific problem of which is uh, it, you know written in the sdg as well i think it's sdg 4 which addresses quality early edu- quality education as a whole i think the larger uh, problem that we are sort of addressing and will anyways end up indirectly addressing is also mentioned in the sdgs as sdg 10 which is inequality um so inequality begins right at a foundation level so a child who doesn't have good quality early education versus a child who has fantastic quality early education the inequality has begun before the age of 4 it's a, it's as sad as that so by you know bridging the learning gap especially in the foundation years up to the age of 10 um, i think that gives children a much much higher chance of success in life uh, be it financial success or success as a human being uh this is something that inequality do- cannot address at a later stage it's really tough the problem gets bigger and bigger as children get older and the easiest way to address inequality is at a very early stage so uh, i mean while it's too early for us to say since all our children we've just started our children are still young they're in their school years but uh, we hope that 10 years from now when these children become citizens and become adults and go into the working world uh we hope that A lot of those inequalities would have been addressed, and a child from an affordable private school with good quality early education would have as much of a chance at success at employment as a child from a privileged school as well. So we hope ten years from now we'll see some of the inequality being addressed by Kido as well. So um, currently we're of course at. at about 100000 children roughly at 1 lakh children is what we are impacting our mission 2025 is to be impacting a million children we currently partnered with 1000 plus schools 
we hope to be partnering with 4000 5000 schools in the next 3 years um, and uh, that's the immediate picture so while we'll do that and right now credo addresses the age groups of nursery lkg ukg grade 1 and grade 2 which are the five foundational years for the child uh, we hope to launch our grade 3 to grade 5 curriculum shortly maybe in the next year or so and cover that base for the child up to the age of 10. So we would like to make sure that the foundation stage as well as the preparatory stage for the children are covered with solid, with a solid backing and a solid foundation. That's the aim. Uh, we hope to be prevalent across India. We are currently very south and west focused. We're just launching our Delhi market now. So we, we are going northwards as well. Every part of India has the same kind of education problem and it's not only India. Every developing country out there, a lot of them have very, very similar education challenges, be it Ghana or Vietnam and so many other countries. So we've had a huge amount of incoming interest from partners across various countries saying, can you replicate the credo model there? But for now, I think we're very, very India focused. Uh, we would like to make a very, very significant uh, change and impact India in a way that's it's sustainable. Um, and Credo, I think, will be the leader in that. I think once we sort of start showing the outcomes, I guess there'll be a lot more players making transformation. Uh, but we're crystal clear about the way ahead that play-based learning, activity-based learning is the key to success for us in a country which has a 1 billion population. We have, uh, I think, 150,000 children below the age of 6 in this country. A mass scale solution to eradicate learning poverty without making it excessively teacher dependent. We don't have that many teachers uh, for which we have very clear play based learning is a very, very easy to implement and effective solution. And uh, we hope that will be adopted more and more um, as we make our journey through India.